All right, Lawn Locos. All right, Lawn Locos. Hey, man. Cut number four in the books. Okay? Yet again, changed the direction. Okay, this time I went from home plate to center field. Hence, let me turn this way. Hence, this way now. Okay? Okay, I, I did it uh, home plate to left field the first time, home plate to right field the second time. Then I went left field to right field the third time. Now I went to home plate to center field on the fourth cut. And now I'm at an inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. Ooh, wee. Shout out to my baby. Ooh, wee. She's getting tight, guys. Obviously, took the green hit because I'm cutting it lower and lower, but this is on non life. We, it, no threat of any uh, frost or freeze yet. Because in North Florida, we do get the chance of a frost and freeze. We just don't get many. You, you know what I mean? We won't get a week, two weeks, three weeks of a frost and freeze. We may get one night here or there. Okay, that's why I do fescue in my yard in Florida. Like, I'm, I'm dominating all the way until next July and August where I just slow down, see the baseball don't completely die out. But this is the baseball field, guys. I went from home plate to center field this time, down to one and a quarter. Now I might just keep it at one and a quarter and cut it for the next few weeks until the AD wants to overseed. Or I may try the next cut, I may try uh, down to an inch just to see. Because you always want to cut it as low as possible when you overseed. And this is Bermuda. It's not going to hurt the Bermuda going down to one inch. But that's it. Just a little quick update. Fourth cut down to an inch and a quarter now. And, man, she's getting, she's getting tighter and tighter, man. And like I said, I gradually brought it down from, from four inches. The first cut, well, it was three or four inches tall. The first cut was two, then one and three quarter, then, uh, yeah, two, one and three quarter, one and a half. Now this one is one fourth. You're gradually bringing it down because you don't want to leave all those grass clippings. And I have shorts and videos up there about don't never leave your yard or field like this. I might put it up there to show y'all how those kids be tearing up the field at our school by leaving clippings on the field. But I've been gradually bringing it down, guys, leaving no clippings. Please do not leave any grass clippings on your lawn, yard, athletic field, or what have you. It'll just choke it out, man. It'll choke it out, cover it up, and there'll be dead spots all over the place. But quick update, man. Thank y'all for rocking with your boy, man. Okay, Coach J, a true lawn loco. Out here putting in this work before foosball comes on. One and a quarter. One and a quarter. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Appreciate y'all. All right, Lawn Locos. All right, Lawn Locos. Uh, another cut, man. I guess this, uh, I guess this is four? No, five. I guess this is uh, cut five, I believe. Uh, down to an inch now. Down to an inch. And this time I went from home plate uh, to right field. Okay, I don't know if you can still see the last cut from home plate to the center field. But the more and more I cut it and change directions, the more and more I'll be able to, you know, burn, you know, burn that pattern in. Okay, but the key is, guys, rotate the cut to eliminate a whole bunch of grass clippings. Uh, I don't even believe this field has ever been cut at one inch, to be honest. Because when I first started, like I said, it was at three, three or four inches. Okay. But now I gradually finally got it down to one and not too bad on any, any scalpages. <laughs> uh, not too bad on any scalpages. So I may leave it here at, at one for at least I should be able to get two or three more cuts in before the AD, uh, wants to oversee. So if I keep it right here at one and then get another full rotation of cutting it in all different directions, I may be able to, you know, get it tight, uh, get the get the patterns going. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see the home plate 
uh, to center field action. Uh, but anyway, uh, down to an inch now, guys. Gradually work it down to eliminate, you know, a whole bunch of clippings or what have you. Okay? But it's getting tight. I hear you. It's a crow or something. I hear you, crow. You know, out here early, man, trying to, trying to get it in. Okay? But I'm finally down to an inch now. Okay, let's see if I can get, it, get in tight. So, but she's getting tighter, guys. She's getting tighter. Okay, down to an inch. You know, this is not, you know, uh, my yard. This is not the Fescu yard, even though you can cut that at one inch. But this is a Bermuda athletic field. And Bermuda prefers to be kept, you know, one no higher than two inches, to be honest. You want to keep Bermuda tight. Get it right. Get it right. Keep it tight. Get it right. You know what I mean? You want to keep Bermuda tight. Okay. But, you know, she's getting tighter. Uh, I guess fifth cut. Okay. Back to uh, home plate right field. Next time I'll go home plate left field and then right field to left field and then back to home plate center field. But you always want to keep rotating your cut, guys. Rotate your cut. I see soccer is now practicing over there in right field. I guess over here in left field, baseball, I mean, excuse me, football, was constantly over here tearing it up. But, uh, you know, the AD is saying, oh, we got one week, one week window. I'm like, oh, no. To be honest, guys, one week is not enough. Yeah, one week is good enough for the ride to germinate. But you still need a week or two after that for it to come in strong. So I have a feeling that, uh, oh, I'm going to oversee and they're going to be right back on it when, when school starts back up. And then they're just, just going to tear up and mess up the overseed. But I will yet again share that information with him to say, hey, man, one week is good enough for germination, but one week is not good enough if you want a, a good stand. If you want a good stand, guys, the overseed, okay, you want at least three weeks off of that surface, at least three weeks. You know, I tend to go to four to six weeks just to, you know, just to have maximum, you know, germination. But you, you, you counting on a week to oversee it and have a full stand of yard or, or field or what have you, you're, you're not going to get your, the best results. Okay. And I will, I will share that with, with him and you guys as well. If you're overseeding guys, you need more than one week. You need more than one week for germination and for the seeds to take. But that's it, guys. Just want to show you an update. Okay. Uh, I went from uh, one and a quarter last week, and I said I'll try it down to an inch. And uh, not too many scalpages, not too many scalp spots. Thank God for the, uh, what do you call it, the scalp rollers on the mower, which, which helps out tremendously. But that's it, guys. This is just another update and overview on the fields. Uh, I need to touch up these base pads again. Okay, remember I did the... Uh, did the mound here. I'm gonna have to uh, uh, come in here with the weed eater and touch up the mound real good. Cause uh, it's actually, you know, I, I killed it off, but it's almost matching the uh, the, uh, the actual grass because, you know, it's taking green hits cause I'm cutting it lower and lower and it's never been, you know, cut this low. Okay, here's the uh, home plate that I'm gonna have to touch up again. Okay, you can't you see it's almost blending back in, even though I can tell where I tried to cut, you know, get the circle in. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger, guys. Okay, I noticed the field that at my school, uh, this uh, circle at home plate is a little larger. So I'm gonna come in and make this a little larger all before it's time to oversee. I don't know if you can see it. You see it? You see it? You probably can't see it on camera, but I see the pattern still from home plate out there to center field. But uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna hold y'all long, man. This is a quick update to Coach Jay out here working on this soft, uh, excuse me, baseball field. I got kicked off the softball field in my school, so so used to saying softball field. But this is the baseball field, man. We down to an inch. Ooh-wee. <laughs> and she's getting tight, man. I can't wait till next summer when the Bermuda is jumping and I'll be able to come out here and cut it all summer to see what, what it looks like. But I don't know, man. Stay tuned, man. Make sure you subscribe, man. Hey, thumbs up, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Thumbs up for your boy, man. So people can see what's going on out here, man. But yet again, man, appreciate y'all. Thanks again for your time. And God bless. Peace.
That inch looking good, inch looking good.